Dozens of foreign nationals who were stranded in Sudan have been evacuated by Qatar. A top UNHCR official says Qatar has long been a generous supporter of refugees globally. It's a day of sports and fun for women at this iconic World Cup stadium. And finally, Yusuf Abdel Razak has spoken out after being accused of racism on the pitch. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Dozens of foreign nationals from friendly nations have been evacuated on board a Qatari Amiri forces flight from Port Sudan. Flight took off from Doha earlier today, carrying around 38 tons of food and aid. So far, more than 1,700 people have been airlifted to safety since the conflict erupted in April. On the ground, the ongoing violence has killed more than 1,500 and displaced thousands more. Doha News was on board the flight to document Qatar's first evacuation of foreigners from Sudan on Wednesday. Now, a top official from the UN's refugee agency says Qatar has long been a generous supporter of refugees globally and a steadfast partner of the UNHCR. Speaking to Doha News on World Refugee Day, the representative said the agency is grateful to Qatar for its invaluable contributions, which provide life-saving assistance and hope for those forced to flee their homes. Over the past decade, Qatar's contributions to UNHCR has exceeded $350 million, serving as a lifeline for refugees and displaced globally. Around 1,000 women, girls and children are taking part in the first ever ladies night at education city as we speak other foundation has set up a range of sports fitness and relaxation activities in a safe ladies only space for the first time this is expected to be the first of many such events at the world cup stadium which is now transforming into a women's hub as part of the post tournament legacy and finally Qatari footballer yusuf abdel razad who has been accused by western media of using a racial slur against an opponent at a friendly against new zealand has cleared the air the young al annabi player stated that he did not use any racial slurs and that he was in fact the victim of racism. Qatar Football Association have also sent out a statement strongly condemning the false accusations and confirming full solidarity with him. For the full statement from Abdel Razak and QFA, head over to our website. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.